Joshua 3.13b, Me hayarden yikaretun hamayim hayoradim mil mala vaya amdu ned echad. Joshua here is continuing his speech about what's about to happen when the feet of the priests get up to the Jordan. And he says, the waters of the Jordan, they will be cut off. The waters, the ones that are coming from above. And they will stand one heap, or in a single heap. Yikaretun, this comes from Kaf Resh Tav. Now in this case, we have a Nifil, namely, we can see the Dagesh in the Kaf, and because there is a vowel preceding it, this is a strong Dagesh, not a Dagesh Lane, it's a Dagesh Forte. Therefore, that is the noon assimilated into the Kaf from the Nifal theme letter. And this is a uh, imperfect 3MP, that is, the waters of the Jordan being the subject, they will be cut off. And Hayoradim, this comes from Yod Resh Dalet, to go down. And in this case, we have a Ka participle masculine plural, that is, the ones going down, uh, which is juxtaposed or antecedent to the waters, the waters which are coming down from above. The Ya'amdu, this comes from Ain, Mem, Dalet, and this is a Kal, imperfect, 3MP, thus still the same subject, these waters which are coming down from above, they will stand in a single heap. So notice then, we don't just have the narrative itself telling us of this event, but what we've been doing is listening to a long speech of Joshua, who's telling the people to take notice of what is going to happen. So it's not just the event, but there's this anticipation and self-conscious focus on the event because of its significance, focusing both on the presence of the Lord and uh, the word of the Lord. So this entire section is a super close focused attention on the significance of the event while it's happening. It reminds us a lot of the Passover.